What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Oregon Springs. It's DJ Goham here, taking care of the animals as we always do. Yes, yes, yes. We got to make sure everything is nice and organized. I'm not going to make you sit through the whole thing. We got to do pigs. We got to do sheep. We got to do cows. We got to do them all. How much food do y'all need? 11,000, oh gosh, y'all need like, what, 8B2, 12, you need at least 3 bales, dick, huh? Alright, well, I don't need that many bales, I'm gonna put this down, there we go, actually, you know what, we got something that can handle this, let's go into our store real quick, baling technology, so something I've had in here, but I haven't used, because I've had no reason to. Uh, there's a red one. Red one again. Green one. No blue ones. Do we go with red? Do we go with green? Well, you know what? This one is way cheaper. So, we're going with this one. 830 bucks. Bye. Yes. Now, we need to go get this. Can we do it in a flash? Maybe not the fastest thing I've ever done, but hey, we got it. Now, what we need to do is we need to get two bales out of here. We need to stack them on top of each other. Here's two that look just about perfect. Lower that down. Can we get in there? Yes, we can. Raise it up and drive out as we get them. Now, hopefully... I'll stay in there. But isn't that so cool? I think that's just cool. And these are real life things. They use these all the time in real life. Dig into it. There we go. Doesn't need to be pretty. Just needs to be. That's what I say. There we go. Taking this back over here. Like I said, I'm not going to make you sit through all this. Uh, there's another thing that we're going to do. So we have the T6 at our cow farm we have the t7 at our sheep or at our uh, pig farm we are actually going to be flip-flopping those how much more do we need and nah, nothing so we're not going to worry about it we are actually going to be flip-flopping both of those tractors because it's just i don't know you know they're there's no reason to have a smaller tractor where we could really use a bigger one and vice versa. So, get the lights turned off. Let's close this gate so that nothing bad happens. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to do some things off screen because I'm not going to force you to sit here and watch them. I'm going to make sure that the pigs are taken care of. They're easy. And then I'm going to meet you back at the cow farm. I'm going to water them. I'm going to give them grass. I'm going to give them straw. I'll meet you back for the total mix ration. Just dropped off the last bit of straw, and we are about to make some TMR. Oh my goodness. I reckon, reckon, reckon. I hate these daggum trailers with these triple wheels on them. Oof. I say it all the time. I'll say it again. All right. Total mix ration. If you have not forgotten yet, listen up. In this specific trailer we're gonna be doing 40 percent silage 40 percent four zero reason we do that equal parts silage and hay start we're gonna go up to 80 percent which is another 40 percent of straw and it is just turned into total mix ration Right up to 80%, and then we're going to throw in some straw. There we go. Where's the straw at? There it is. Dump some straw in just for safe measures. Nice. Pull in. Dump it out. That easy. So we've already come through. Uh, we have not done water for the cows yet. We will be doing that last. So don't worry about that. They will have some. 
they will be just fine. And seems about right. Yeah. So we're going to finish this up. We're going to give the cows their power food, silage and hay, their water. And I'm going to meet you back at the store. Got something cool for you at the store. We've already bought it too. Very exciting. All right. We are all done with everything we needed to do at our farms. Let's take a look here. Sheep, pigs, and cows all taken care of. Now, check this out. John. Oh, yeah. Went ahead and bought the harvesters. We got the big ones, the big New Hollands. Oh, my goodness. We got the Draper headers, the 45 footers. I didn't get one, I got two. Match a dose. That's right. Two of them, babe. Yeah. But where are they going? Well,. We actually aren't going to need them for a while. Um, I was kind of against putting them in long-term storage. Because I don't feel that we need to. Um, we have room for them uh, at the two farms. So I think we're going to move them uh, there. We're going to move them to the two farms. <sighs> this is the thing. We aren't going to use these for two seasons. Ugh. What do we do? You know what? We're going to do it anyway. We're going to put them at the two main farms. This guy right here, we call lefty and righty, or one and two red and, or, uh, one and two red and blue. No, uh, yellow, oh, yellow and, and old blue. Something, I don't know. We'll, we'll give them some names. Why not? We got our cows. Cows are super happy. I'm so happy for them. Here we go. You want to know something interesting? This something irritates me a little bit. So this guy's got tracks on it. Yes, obviously we know this. Um, out of the end game and the mods that we can download that we can either put wheels or tracks on. All the ones with tracks like jump down to like 10 miles an hour or or you know 12 miles an hour so low, and I don't know why. If you know why, let me know. Because I don't know. Ooh, that trailer is going nuts back there. Alright, I need to drop that off. Because there's no way we're going to fit through over here with this header if we don't. We're going to put these exactly where the other ones were, exactly where the cases were. Drop this bad boy off here. Very nice, very nice. There's also another another one that I want to get as well. Oh, goodness. Tried too much. It's the thing with these. You can't... You have to swing wide to get the header through. But if you swing too wide, then the tractor doesn't make it through. It's real weird. There we go. Where's this guy going to go? It's going to go right here. I think it's gonna go in here. I tell you what, the more and more there we go. The more and more I play this map, the more I have just fallen in love with it. Um I also heard that the Welker Farm map might be coming. So that is just oh my gosh. If the Welker Farms uh map comes to Xbox One, yeah. That's what I feel like in my head thinking about that right now. That's just incredible. I want that. I want it. I want it. I want it again. And I want it again. Welcome Farms. Yes, please. All right. So we got this. I'm not going to make you sit through me taking this to the other farm. Uh, but I will see you when I get there. All right. Main farm. Here we are. Forgot I parked that trailer like that. We'll cross that bridge when we have to. I have dropped off our corn header here. Nice and easy. And across the way, I've dropped off our other header. Show that one to you. I'll actually show you the corn headers I'm using. I've had, oh my goodness, look at that drift right there in the snow. Um, I've had a couple people asking me, hey, I didn't know that New Holland made that header or that corn header. And uh, 
other videos, obviously. But let's go check that. And that's where I put that it's right there in the right there. Okay, garage. I'm using these the Capello uh, Quasar HS 16s, two of them. So uh, they they run 12 meters. These are 13.7. Figure what the heck? That's a perfect fit. Or just about anyway. Just about a perfect fit. So, this guy's going to go in here. Going to get parked up. Can't even get close to being lined up. There we go. Hop out, open up. Nice. And here we go. Into its new home. Now that's just cool. We'll see you, buddy. There's something else that I want to get. We haven't gotten it yet. At least let me go through and make sure. Um, I guess I can get faster than this. Oh, did I see it? I didn't. Nope. So we need one of these. What are these? Well, it's a four-inch harvester. We are going to go with New Holland right here. Unless there's anything. Nah, there's nothing that way. New Holland, there we go. $374,000. Right down the drain. And we need the header to go with it. And that would be this guy right here. At 9 meters, I'm going to miss that 10.5 meter working with. But, nonetheless, 9 meters right there. Bye. Yes. But where is it? It's right here. That sounds good too. A little bit of higher pitched, uh, higher pitch than it was. There we go. That's all right. And in. Ta da! Perfect. All right. Not to. Oh goodness! Forgot it's snow. We can't. We can't grip for nothing in this stuff. All right. Let's get this back to the main farm. There's something else I want to take a look at. Because we've got the money. And I want to see if it's something that is possible. And if it's not, maybe sell one or two things. And then maybe this is possible. But it's a surprise. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be able to do what we want to do after all. This T6, though it has been great, I've only had it what? An episode or two I tell you what this thing has not come in handy at all um, it's not useful at all on this map there's nothing we can do with it it's just blah that's exactly what it is blah so we're gonna take this guy we are going to buy a new tractor yes we are now we need to get a big one, a bigger one. Um, we're thinking T7 range. I want a T7, but I don't want another T7. But I want something, you know, in this, you know, size. I have something in my mind, but it's expensive. Oh man, it's expensive, but it's so cool. Um, and it has no business being anywhere around animals. But it's so cool. And I want it. So I think we're going to buy it. Here we go. T6, repair. Yes, please. Okay, and sell. For 119000 Alright. So we have $4.178 million. Let's just go through real quick. Now, I'm not going to keep this as just New Holland. Um, I'm going to allow something else. What did we have? T6 with 163 horsepower, which is not doing. What did we replace it with? T7 with 313 horsepower. So we're thinking over 300 horsepower. Series 7 will not do that. 
Massey Ferguson will not do that. The case, well, we've already had the case. So we're not going to get that. JCB will, but just barely. The Steyer here will go over. This Deutz Far, of course, it will. And then we're going to the larger tractor range into the T8. It's a little big for what I want. Ooh. 384 horsepower. That's on tracks. Never been a huge fan of a tracked tractor. A tracted tractor. It's really hard to maneuver. Um, they they really, really are hard to maneuver. And the Fent 809. See, I thought about doing something like this. It's got the funky wide tire or wide axle on there, which I actually like. Um, a lot of people don't, but I do. It's 314. Mm. It's a hard decision. It's a very hard decision. I came into this full heartedly going for this Challenger right here. But at $314. Thousand dollars. It's a little much just for a tractor that's going to roam around. So, what's this guy? No horsepower whatsoever. Those things are jokes. Yeah, you heard that. You heard it right. It's a joke. I guess we'll just go with another T7. I think we went with twin or with wide tires on the other. Let's jump wheel weights for this guy, just for, just for fun. I didn't even notice what I paid for that. Two hundred forty-four. Okay, so could have spent a little bit more and got that, honestly. But thing is about this too, has a front three-point linkage. Very nice, very nice, very nice. So I think that is going to be where we end this video. We've got everything done that we need to do, so we're probably just going to fast forward to the end of winter for the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. So I'll be loading videos like this all the time. That being said, I hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.